So you want to know the best way to play with Real Madrid in FIFA 20. That's great because I'm going to show you that in this video and I'm going to show you the best formation, the best lineup, the best tactics and the best instructions. So make sure you will watch the whole video because all the information is even important. So don't miss anything. My name is Mark. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I'm doing some FIFA related stuff like the tactics and the best formations and stuff. Also gameplay. So if you're interested in that, make sure you will hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos i'm posting please leave a like under the video i will really appreciate that and then we are beginning at this moment and here we are starting with a clip i made in a match against barcelona with real madrid so el clasico and it was a really really weird uh situation he was walking with his goalkeeper i just make three tackles and with the fourth i get the ball and score the goal here as you can see it's the 4-1 uh not even 60 minutes played in game and he rage quit so that's a really great result so i'm going to show you how i did that with the tactics and the formation and stuff and some gameplays as examples as well so we are going to start with the 4-3-3 holding formation as you can see here then we're going to the lineup courtois is the goalkeeper best goalkeeper in the squad of course uh, he's really high 6.6 uh, so that's really great and 87 rated so pretty good goalkeeper of course then we are going to the right defender carvajal is still the right defender uh, he is good enough uh, you can also play there with uh, Militao of course but for me Carvajal is just better feels better uh, he doesn't feel 82 slow uh, the same for Marcelo I'm gonna show you that later he is his space is 82 but I don't have a feeling that that you can't catch up with fast wingers he is good enough for me uh, as the right defender then we are going to the center back right center back it's Farane really great center back of course one of my favorites in this game he's fast with 83 pace defending 86 is good his movement uh, you know all know the jockey defending is really important his movement while jockey defending is really great so uh, one of the best center backs in the game for me and then Ramos the same really great uh, center back of course is high medium attacking uh, and defensive work rate aren't uh, ideal but yeah he, he is he is really good 89 rated of course he is not that fast as Ferrane but 72 pace is fast enough and his defending uh, stats with 87 is really great of course then we're going to the left back it's Marcelo as I said before 81 pace but he doesn't feel that slow um, even with him uh, the same as Carvajal I don't have a problem with catching up with fast wingers uh, so for me he feels good uh, better than uh, Mendy at the moment so Marcelo is still the left defender for Real Madrid for me then we are going to the midfield Casimiro 91 rated uh, central defensive midfielder really great of course uh, I'm gonna show you that later but with the 86 defending and 90 physical he is really good really good at movement as well he catch so many balls he, he recovers so many balls as you can see here pick him in and he gets the ball then play to Modric he lost the ball and again we are selecting Casimiro and with his movement and great defensive skills he gets the ball again and he does that so many times in the match really great central defensive midfielder for me for Real Madrid then we are going to the next one it's Modric the central midfielder I think he is the most important player in this squad for me as well as attacking and defending he's really worthful and yeah, he, he is good at everything passing shooting he is just good then we have Kroos um, 90 rated really high especially his passing is good dribbling is good uh, pace 45 that was a bit of an issue for me but I tried it out again and he doesn't feel that slow anymore at the beginning of the game he felt really slow and maybe some patches or, or updates in the game uh, changed that but for me he doesn't feel that slow anymore and we have a gameplay clip here with Bill and Kroos shooting and scoring his goal so that's really wonderful of course then we're going to the right uh, winger it's Vinicius Junior he is a left winger by nature of course but 
he can play really good at the right wing as well he is fast with 93 pace weak foot four star skill move five star so you can do all tricks with this guy so really great then the striker for me is bill uh, three star weak foot four star skill move um, he is 85 rated Benzema is 86 at the moment but Bale feels much better for me uh, because he is fast 90 pace shooting is good 86 passing is good dribbling is good so Bale is the number one striker for me and here we have Modric and Vinicius Jr. setting up an attack and Vinicius Jr. going into the box with a trick to Bale Bale is at the right side and scored his goal so then we're going to the left uh, winger the last player and that's Aiden Hazard of course uh, 91 rated so pretty high of course 91 pace also shooting is good passing is good dribbling is really fantastic with this guy uh, four star weak foot four star skill moves what else do I need to say he is really amazing of course then we are going to the tactics pressure on heavy touch with a width of five bars and a depth of five bars the offensive style is balanced and as you can see here uh, this was a counter attack from my opponent and Casimiro was uh, running forward we lost the ball so only the defenders are at the back and as you can see here they are lined up really well uh, don't run into the attackers just wait for him to make a decision and most of the times <laughs> they are making bad decisions when you are not moving so uh, we have the ball and yeah we, d we couldn't uh, counter attack ourselves so you need to play a bit more possession like we do here and Casimiro got the ball to Modric Modric to Junior Junior into the box wanted to pass it back to Modric but Modric lost the ball but you saw here uh, we had a uh, counter attack against us defense was pretty solid we get the ball with the balanced offensive style first you are looking for a counter attack opportunity when there isn't one you are going to play some more like possession and that's why i love the balanced uh, offensive style the most and i'm using that the most in all squads so uh, that is the reason why uh, the width is seven bars plays in the box six bars corners free kicks both three bars i scored a corner kick uh one <laughs> one of a hundred for me i don't score corners that much but with carvergal i didn't expect him there but he scored the corner now we're going to the instructions uh carvergal stay back while attacking Varane he is just default the same for Ramos just default Marcelo stay back while attacking then we are going to Casimiro cut passing lanes stay back while attacking and cover center <coughs> now we're going to Modric get forward get into the box for the cross and cover center and now I'm going to show you why he is so important in this squad here you can see lovely run forward uh, with the get forward instruction and again into the box he is making some lovely forward runs here again Vinicius on the ball Modric here and Gross Modric scored again but this time he was offside too bad but you can see 10 minutes in the game and he already made two lovely forward runs for me so here we have Carvajal to Vinicius Jr Vinicius Jr Good skill move, the Berbatov spin. There again, Modric, Gross, and not a goal this time. But you can saw, you see there, Modric really important with his forward runs. Then we are going to Gross. Only thing I changed for him is cover center. And uh, then we are going to Vinicius Junior. Uh, the only thing I changed is support runs, get in behind, and support and crosses is get into the box for the cross. Then we're going to the striker Bill. Support runs is stay central and attacking runs is get in behind. And then Hazard, the last one. Support runs, get in behind and support on crosses, get into the box for the cross. So Vinicius Junior and Hazard are just the same. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like the video to really help me if you didn't subscribe yet make sure you do that as well and hopefully we will see you next time have a great day bye bye